there's Uncle Herman and Grandpa again. They've been pounding out in that garage every day for a week. Don't you have any idea what they're up to? No, I don't, and I really don't care. I told Herman I wasn't speaking to him till he gets our family car back. Well, but according to Eddie, they're building some kind of a car out there. I don't know what they're up to. They've asked Eddie for his bicycle. They took the pipes out of the organ in the living room, and Herman came back from the parlor with an empty box. Now, you can't tell me that anyone can build an automobile out of junk like that. Just a minute now. Okay, you can bring her out now, Grandpa. This drag, you look and wipe anything on the strip. <laughs> I ask you, is this an automobile or is this an automobile? <laughs> I really gotta hand it to you, Grandpa. This is quite an attractive vehicle. Detroit could take a lesson from this design. <laughs> Those organ pipes are a very nice exhaust. Nice. I'll have you know, Herman, that this is the only dragster in America that could play Oh Promise Me in second gear. <laughs> We'll call Sandy's father and tell him we'll really beat him at the drags tomorrow. Oh, goody, goody. Uh, uh, tell him we'll smear him. D hey, wait a minute, Eddie. Hold it, Herman. Herman, come here. Now, one of the first rules in racing is never tip your hand. What you do is you show up the day of the races, get your rival to commit himself on the bet, then you unveil the winning car. But is that good, clean sportsmanship? Of course it is. As Sonny Liston says, it's not playing the game, it's winning that counts. 